Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? What? God sent snakes and bees on Boko Haram in Nigeria because they won't give back these girls, you know, these 200, almost 300 Christian girls. The media don't tell you that. They just talk about schoolgirls, but they're Christian schoolgirls. They were in a Christian school. These radical Islamic Muslims went into that school, took these Christian girls out, and have had them in uh, hiding. And we've sent, you know, they, they've been hiding. Obama sent in 80 special ops and re reconnaissance. We have located where they're at. The Nigerian army says we just can't go get them. They're too well armed, and they're hiding in these woods with these girls. So... Nobody could go. Nobody will go. Nobody will go. But the, that didn't stop the Christians from praying. We've been praying. We keep asking God to rescue them, to deliver them. Well, if man won't do it, God will. And if God can use man to do it, but if not, he can do it himself. Well, here's what's going on. Bo we have reports coming in. Boko Haram is being flushed out of their hiding places by deadly snakes and bees because the militants fear that they are spirits of victims haunting them. Now, uh, the, the arrested Boko Haram gunman claims the militants are suffering snake attacks. They say the Islamists in the Sam, Sambiza forest are being bitten, then attacked by bees. Militants are now fleeing the area, worried the attacks are supernatural. They're supposedly concerned the snakes are the dead victims getting revenge. Now, also the article says the Islamists fighting for Boko Haram are leaving the forest, hiding places after a number of senior militant leaders have died as a result of relentless attacks by snakes and bees, it is being claimed. What? Yes. Two suspected Boko Haram gunmen were arrested in the northeast, northeastern part of Nigeria, claiming that members of the group have now fled the Sambiza forest close to the border of Cameroon following um, snake bites, constant snake bites and bee stings. Nigeria's army have been trying to flush the militants out of the area for months, but it appears they're now leaving voluntarily in the belief the attacks are the spirits of the victims haunting them. Well, I've got news for them. No, it's not the spirits of the victims. 
It is the power of God using the snakes and the bees. This isn't the first time God's ever sent snakes. He sent fiery serpents among the children of Israel when they were walking disobedient to the Lord. Then he sent a remedy when he told Moses to put us a brazen serpent on a pole and hold it up in front of the people. Uh, God has sent uh, insects before. Matter of fact, grab a Bible and go with me to Exodus chapter 23. Here's what the Bible says. As the children of Israel which were in the process of taking the land of Canaan that was promised them by God, uh, they they had a, it was very difficult to do. There were so many giants in the land, and there were so many different tribes that were extremely uh, well trained. So here's what the Lord said He would do in Exodus twenty three twenty eight. The Lord said, "And I will send hornets before thee, which shall drive out the Hivite, the Canaanite, and the Hiveite." from before thee. It might even have got rid of some of the termites. What? I don't know, but I'm just saying, run everybody out of there. He, God said, I will not drive them out from before thee in one year, because God could have, but at least, the, but if I did that, the land, is too much land, you couldn't get it all settled in time, at least the land become desolate, and the beast of the field multiply against thee. So God said, by little and little, I will drive them out from before thee until thou be increased and inherit the land. God sent hornets and, and, and it made the enemy keep backing away and fleeing little by little by little by little. God pushed the enemy out of the way. He flushed them out, if you will, by using hornets. So are you shocked that God couldn't use snakes and bees to flush out Boko Haram? Of course God can. Especially when God-fearing Christian people start praying with faith believing, God will put something into motion. It's guaranteed. I'll be right back with more current world events and how they relate to Bible prophecy. But you can believe this. This is absolutely... Uh, this a blow Now these guys... They would rather believe that they were being haunted by the victims. Their, their, guilt, their conscience is guilty. i like to ask them a question. If you're doing the will of Allah, then why do you have a guilty conscience about your victims? You even use the word victims haunting you. What, you need, what they need to do is take a reevaluation of the demonic spirit that's leading them and come to Jesus Christ. Come to the God of the girls that they've captured. I'll be right back in just a moment. Wow. Are you serious?